Good morning. Cup of coffee for you here. Welcome to my house. As you guys are all quite aware of this past Monday, I was selected, I was selected, Teacher of the Week at Oglesby, Washington. Quite honestly, I didn't expect it. In fact, it's been a rather humbling experience, to say the least. I'm generally not at a loss for words, you guys all know that. But believe me, as I sit here before you tonight, please know how honored I feel. I know right now many of you are thinking, you're asking yourselves, or you're asking your neighbor, hey, what's Mr. F's story? Where did he come from? How did he get here? And is it possible for me to achieve these same things that he's achieved? Well, youngsters, I'm here to tell you, yes. Yes, you can. I'm living proof of that. My story is a very simple one. It's very much like Oprah's. While she was born in Mississippi to a single mother, I was born in Alabama. Go Tide, baby. National Championship game, January 7th, against the Fighting Leprechauns in Notre Dame. We're going to kick. All right. Sorry, no. Excuse me. I was born to a single father in Alabama. Now, he was a sharecropper, and as a young boy, I had to work long hours under the hot sun in the fields. Oftentimes, working 30 hours a day. It was horrible. We were poor, but we didn't know it. And that's what poor people always say. We were poor, but we didn't know it. We couldn't afford what most people had. Oftentimes, supper consisted of tater tots and quesadillas. Oftentimes, I can actually smell those tots still baking in the toaster oven. Brings back painful, but yet wonderful memories of my childhood. But I remember making a promise to myself that I would rise above these conditions. I would work hard in school and get an education. Each day I would walk to school 10 miles and walk home 10 miles. Walking those 15 miles each day made me realize I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to make a difference. After all, how rewarding would it be to make kids do homework, to hand out detentions, and actually make kids run a mile? And that was it. I had a goal. I had a dream. I was going to be teacher of the week. This past week has flown by. I can't believe it's Friday. It seems like it was just five days ago, it was Monday. And as you're aware, I've been trending on Twitter all week. I now have as many followers. I have as many followers as One Direction. And I understand, they may be young, they may be handsome, wealthy, have great hair, and of course speak in a British accent. But can any one of those young men say that they are Teacher of the Week? I don't think so. People have been asking me, what are you going to remember most about this week? Is it going to be your appearance on the Today Show with Matt Lauer? Is it going to be brunch with Barack and Michelle? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I got a phone call. Yeah, yeah, what's up, JB? Justin Bieber. Yeah, what's up, dude? Sure, I'll be, I'll be in that video with you. All right. Baby, baby. Okay, yeah, cool. All right, yep. All right, peace out. Excuse me. While these have been all wonderful experiences, I'm most proud of my certificate from my esteemed colleague, Mr. Bluster, or as you guys are aware of, is Mr. B. In fact, I would like to read it for you. If you look at this closely, it says, I was caught. I was caught. 
the cock being good. And here's what it says, young minds. Be safe, be responsible. Oh no, sorry. Be safe, be respectful, then be responsible. In that order too. But pause for applause. It says, you were caught demonstrating pibis. Pib, pib, pibis. I'm not sure what that means, but I was caught doing it. Demonstrating it. And the expectations at Washington. Oh, I was, wow. I always thought it was Washington, but I, I'm wrong. At Washington School. I'm very proud of this. Extremely proud. So in closing, I just want to thank all the little people that have made this possible. Sierra Espinoza, Lexi Wells, Rachel Black, and Miss Bradford. Without your support, it wouldn't have been possible. Thank you, and God bless America.